Hi guys, so I am recording this Facebook Live because I have an assignment for my mass communication class. And I'm here in my room with my roommate. Hello. And we're watching the WAC championship game. And that's the Western Conference that we're in. And let me change this camera. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> oh, I found it. Okay, so they're, they are playing in the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley, which is almost on the Mexican border. And they're playing California State at Bakersfield. And Bakersfield was number four during the regular season, and UTRGV was number two. The number one team that was supposed to be in the final right now was New Mexico State. But they lost against the blue team, which is the California one. And, you know, I'm just reporting how the game is going. Because the winner of this game is going to the first round of the NCAA National Championship. Which is super cool. And both teams have a bunch of foreigners. Like, this is Brazilian. I don't know who she is. But the, both... Come some technical coach. Coach staff? Mm -hmm. Coach staff. Uh, both coach staffs have Brazilians in there too, so I feel like Brazilians are very common in NCAA teams because of the knowledge, I guess. I don't know. Because volleyball in Brazil is very big. It's just after soccer in popularity. So... Uh, University of California, Bakersfield is winning, which they are like the underdogs, which is pretty cool. We played both uh, both teams twice, and we lost <laughs> both team twice. <laughs> but it was good. Like we went on five with UTRGV, and we went in four with uh, California Bakersfield. It's pretty cool to watch, cause I don't I don't think. Bakersfield was supposed to be here. It was supposed to be New Mexico. They had the banquet at the beginning of the week, and most of the most of the best players of the conference were from New Mexico, which is kind of ironic that they're not there. Both coaches from California, like the main coach and the assistant coach, are from Brazil. She's from Brazil, too. Did you know that? Yeah. The assistant from California Bakersfield was the agent that brought me to America. Did you know that? Yeah, I know the agent. Yeah. I know their head coach. Oh, the, oh, I have another thing. So, the assistant coach from UTRGV, the assistant coach, the girl, she was the in the agency that brought me here, too. So it's a lot of Brazilians. CSU Bakersfield is is killing it. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. I mean, they're only going on the first round of the con on the nationals. Sure, probably gonna lose. No offense. So this is like we have the conference, then we have. Yeah, I mean, we have like the regular season, which New Mexico won, mm -hmm. and then there's the championship. And because of our conference being small, um, there's only one spot for our conference to the tournament. You know, like Pac-12 and Big Ten. I don't know how many teams go to the national, but it's more than one. It's like two or three. I don't know. But it depends on the ranking. None of the teams from the WAC are ranked. Like top 50, no. So this is their chance. This is their chance to have like a banner in the gym and be like, you know, because you officially went to the NCAA tournament. You just didn't pass the first round, but you're not gonna put that on the poster. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, four more points. Um, so Bakersfield crossed on the semifinal with New Mexico, and they won in four. So they're about to impress everybody because they took out New Mexico and they're about to take out UTRGV too.
That's awesome. UTRGV, they were an NAIA school. And they since they were an NAIA school, they have been in the finals for nationals like every year. Yeah. And then they became NAIA nationals. NAIA nationals. Yeah. Because I play NAIA and when my team uh won the national championship it was against UTRGV. Blocked and out. I wasn't there, but it was the year before me. And then they became an NCAA school. And that's actually a cool process. Like the school have to, I don't know officially what they have to do, but it's like they have to start the process a couple of years before they can actually compete. So they become an NCAA school, division one or two, depending on how, much, how many scholarships you can offer. And for volleyball, at least, if you have 12 scholarships to give out, then you're a D1. And I think you have two years of, like, probation. Like, you can't, even if you want win the conference, you can't go to the Nationals. Because you're not official yet. They have, like, two years just, like, you playing with, even if you win, you're not going to go to even to the tournament. Like the conference, you can't go. Grand Canyon just became a NCAA too. Uh huh. Do it. This was the first year. I don't know, or if they were a junior college. I'm not sure which one it was. It's a pretty big school. It is huge. To be. Yeah. But I mean, like, they just won. What? This is insane. Wow, the underdogs. See, this is the Brazilian dude. She's a Brazilian. She's Brazilian. She's Brazilian. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. And the cool thing about the this tournaments is that everybody can watch online for free. So you just put the name of the conference online and that uh, digital network. So you can watch Pac-12 games. You just put online. And they pull out a four-set championship victory over the defending Damn, champs. Damn, that's crazy. Wow. Ooh, wow. Uh, Megan Bakersfield to the tournament. Yeah, I know. The I'm energy, watching. The emotion Bakersfield played with all tournament long. Wow, I am shook. You're not. Mm -mm. I thought that UTRGV was going to win, honestly. No. I thought, I, since I really the beginning, did. I thought they would at least go to the final. They were with, I they thought were New Mexico. fighting more. Yeah, I thought New Mexico and, and this team would be in the final. Mm -hmm. But since they went to the semifinal. But I think Bakersfield would, like, fight more. Because, like, the, I don't know, like, um, some of their key players, I've seen them in, like, pressure right. times. Yeah. And they really... Um, Stand out. Step up during pressure times. So. I remember this girl. She's also Brazilian, yo. Uh, she <laughs> was from Curitiba. She's a setter. I remember her. I finally remember. I think she's a veteran. Well, so this was it. This was my reporting on the WAC final. And Bakersfield is going to play the first round of the tournament. I'm not sure when it's going to be, but I think it's in the week because the actual tournament like the final four is december 14th well it's probably in two weeks then i don't know i'll come back to you with that okay it was fun bye guys have a good night bye <laughs>